Look at the neighborhood. I mean, for crying out loud, we're not in Creve Coeur. We're not in Ladue here. We live on paycheck to paycheck around here for the most part. Outside a convenience store in South St. Louis, Jim Hinkle says he's been swindled by what's inside. It's just one more example of the rich taking advantage of the poor. It started with this ATM. It's where he came a few months ago as a favor for a neighbor. Who is uh, handicapped, he's homebound, and uh, he does his banking through an ATM. And uh, he wanted cash out. Hinkle had to withdraw $800, but could only take out $200 at a time. He was not quick enough. So while I'm turning the money around and counting it, the other 200 were sitting in the, in the slot, and all of a sudden, the money was gone. Gone back into the machine, he says, with no warning. But his receipt showed he got the money when his neighbor's bank account shows the opposite. And without a paper trail, he says he has no proof. It's his word against the ATM company. They should at least notify you that you didn't get your money. But instead, it just says, yes, you got the money and everything's fine, which spells thievery to me. So we put the ATM to the test with a timer. Exactly how long does it take for money that comes out of the slot to get sucked back in? With our cameras rolling, Henkel withdrew $20, then waited to see how long it would take to go back inside. We clocked 30 seconds. What do you want people watching this right now to know? Grab your money. Don't worry about counting it. Count it after you get your money. The Consumer Financial Protection Bureau has this advice. If you're missing money from your ATM, contact your bank or credit union right away. But Hinkle says that's been difficult. He and his neighbor have been told it's the ATM company's responsibility to refund the money. We reached out to the owner of the ATM for answers, a spokesperson with NCR Corporation, which oversees all point ATMs nationwide, declined to comment. It sounds like you've just been through so many hurdles. It's discouraging on all levels. We contacted the ATM Industry Association. A spokesperson tells us that when cash is dispensed and then goes back inside the machine, it's for security. They also say it's likely the responsibility of the ATM operator to give back the cash or issue a credit back to the customer. For the I-Team, Paula Vassan, Five on Your Side.